All right, welcome to another video. This is our third week. Um, you smell good. Thank you. Appreciate it. You smell like Papa Dude. Um, <laughs> uh, this is our. Uh, we are back. Sorry, we are back to the, the appointments. Uh, we, this is the third week that we do this. It's a Monday. Uh, we're gonna do a non-stress test, you. ultrasound. Uh, yeah, non-stress test, ultrasound. <laughs> We're gonna do a non stress test, ultrasound, and I think they're gonna let us know how much the baby is weighing, an estimate. So we'll see. Let's go. Oh, and we're late. So we are in. We are waiting for the nurse to come in. Oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah, we haven't ate. How do you feel? Hungry, tired. My mouth is still swollen. Does it look swollen? I don't know. I had come, a bruise here. Comment below is it her no. left, right cheek is swollen. Remember, she took that tooth out. And I got a temporary crown in the other one. And she got a temporary crown. I like your style. Thanks. Especially the sandals. Thanks. With the socks. So here we are. What's the sound? Machine. This is our room. I barely still get an extra baggage. <laughs> um, I Done with our two appointments and everything is going really well i mean we are not seeing the growth where we want to see it she was two weeks ago she was two pounds three four two point four two pounds four ounces um and today she's two pounds seven ounces so she's only grown three pounds in two weeks so that's a little bit slower than what we'd like of course also she should be at four pounds i think by now and she's at two pounds seven ounces so it just shows that her growth is behind um but if she has the diagnosis that they said she has um which is cornelia delang then this would actually be normal um we're not claiming that but we do have an open mind and we know that if you know if if it's god's will that she's born that way then but um but they're not worried about her growth because of that diagnosis but also because everything else on the spectrum is looking great she's active she's moving like he said she has big movements she has small movements she's motioning to breathe um and um yeah everything else is looking really good so because everything else is looking really good and the not stress test is really good um the results um it's not a concern of ours right now that she's small and and we can um keep her you know in the womb for longer and hopefully we're we're hoping you know the doctors are hoping we're hoping that she stays until at least 37 because then she won't be considered premature at that point but if she can go full term then hey well you know that's really what what gabby and i are hoping for why did you forget to ask the doctor oh i don't think there was a big change to be honest with you it probably just did. it probably did expand a little bit more because her heart and her lungs did look a little bit thicker than the last time we saw it but um but i remember the last time they looked thicker to us too and the time before and they hadn't expanded anymore it's just us you know maybe us being hopeful we thought that it was that it had grown um but he didn't say anything so about it so i don't think it was i don't think it, it was any like additional growth to it um but basically her left lung if we haven't mentioned it in previous videos is a lot it's it's not a lot smaller it's just smaller than the right lung um so we're not sure how that one's going to work when she's born um but these are just all things that we have to just keep praying for you know that god continue to expand her lungs that her heart continue to go strong that she can grow the doctor says that scientifically speaking there is no proof that protein would guarantee her growth but 
it's recommended because it would do no harm um and there is a possibility that it could affect your growth in a positive way so we're gonna try that i'm gonna try to get some ensure protein shakes um and we'll we'll try that i personally don't eat a lot of protein in my diet so um a protein shake would help me a lot so yeah that's kind of like where we are right now um and right now we are gonna go look for somewhere to eat um and we're in the downtown orlando area because we haven't eaten all day and i'm hungry but um and then we're gonna go to a a camping store uh, rv dealer we're not buying an rv though I believe it's a uh, blue compass. So, we just finished eating. We went to Chick fil A. Um, she couldn't decide where to eat. Uh, so many options in that, in that in Orlando area. Um, but when we don't know what to eat, we always go to our default, which is Chick fil A. All right. <laughs> That's our default, Chick fil A. So, yeah, so now we are just going to go to RV. No, what's this called? Blue Compass RV. Now, we're not gonna buy no RV, but we've been for years, for years, for years. We've been, me and, and, and Nina, we've been talking about RVing and taking our family places and, and stuff like that. And then our plan, our goal is to buy one and, and and experience the camping life and the RVing life in different areas, different location in the in the United States, and show our kids a different vibe, different world. You know that's something that we always wanted. So we are going to start looking again and start analyzing, see what can we start to get to our goal, and then you know, and we want you guys to also be part of this experience um as well we'll see what happens when we get there uh because she don't like data ships the dealers that they try if to sell. if i had the money and we were gonna buy it then yeah i'll be super excited to go she's not I excited just don't like to people go. pushing and like I, I like to just let us kind of like look around and that's what we're gonna do look around if somebody but tell me i also don't know if i'm gonna be able to because i'm barely able to walk right now well we're not and i can't we're not in a well, we're not in a rush. We just go. And there's no seats in the We just we just go. We just see. You know, we're gonna see the RV place. We're gonna see a couple RVs, and depending on how it goes, we can leave fast or we can leave later, depending on how it would go. Cause I cannot walk either. I already, I already, I, I ate and I cannot even walk. It's not the same thing, babe. Anyways, but let's get this RV party. Be searching, search, sing, oh. <laughs> started. All right, so we are looking at the RVs here at Orlando Blue Compass RV. Uh, we like some of them. Uh, we didn't record. But but when the time comes, we are going to record. But it's hot. So we're here looking around because she's hot. Hey guys, welcome back. This is day four of the week. We only come twice a week, so we just record those two videos together and put it together. You know what I mean? Um, so this is the second time this week we come over here to do the uh, non-trust test. Uh, I'm in the car. I stood in the car. Uh, the baby's sleeping. Oh, I got to fix her. The baby's sleeping. Uh, Nina went inside, and she is uh, taking care of doing the non-trust test. Uh, we'll see what we're going to do today. Uh, she wants to go to the park um, in downtown Orlando area. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So well, we are, that, oh. so we are done at the doctor's office. You already did it. Yeah, I already did I it. I missed it. So um, tell us, tell us. Welcome on. back to another video, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
I am 31 weeks pregnant yeah, yeah, yeah. and like six days. So I'm about to be 32 weeks That's pregnant. Yeah. It's really a blessing that we've gotten this far because at 29 weeks, we were about to have a cesarean um, because baby had high drops really bad. It was progressing at a rate that they weren't expecting and at a rate that would basically be like, fatal. The is moving because we're in a road that this road is really bumpy. It's bricks. And so at 29 weeks, um, we were gonna do a cesarean and the doctor decided to have us go see a cardiologist for the, the baby inside my womb. Ooh, sorry guys. Ooh. But you don't have to make the old man sound stuff. So. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. cardiologist we discovered that her heart was strong which is really good news because they didn't know if her heart was failing and that was causing the if you don't know what high drops is it's basically like water accumulating in the spaces inside the body and sometimes when you're having heart failure the well not you read the name of Jesus but if someone is having heart failure then their body can start um, basically not putting fluids where they need to go or um, if something is being squished, it can cause that fluid to accumulate in the spaces around the organs and stuff like that. And that could be from heart failure or it could be from something else. But going to the cardiologist, we discovered that it wasn't heart failure. So it was like one of the first times we had good news in like three, four, five months. And um, at that point, because of that news, because knowing that it was the heart, we had the option of not doing the cesarean, but instead doing the fetal surgery that we talk about um, in our fetal surgery video that hopefully will be up by this point. Um, and um, yeah, so right now the baby does have a shunt or stent, however you wanna call it, in her chest, draining fluid. There still is about, I would say about 25 to 30% of fluid. Um, when they did the procedure, it caused the blood, um, it caused some blood to go in and what that caused was, that's normal that that happens, because not uncommon, but what that caused was that there was, basically the blood caused scarring and it created these little walls in between the fluid, which is not allowing some of the fluid to be drained out, um, but even still, enough fluid has I mean, most of the fluid has drained out so 80%. yeah 80 about 80 percent of the fluid has drained out so we've seen like her heart is slowly it's not back on the left side yet it's still probably in the middle i would say to right side but it's expanded we can really see the four chambers now it's a beating we couldn't see her left lung we can see it now beating. and 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 both of her lungs are um, expanding and pumping as if they were pumping air and she is doing the motion of like breathing which is really cool I mean the first day we saw her breathe was the day after the fetal surgery or the procedure and it was just like it was just something like really um, relieving to see that she was practicing to breathe which is what she should be doing at this stage um, but she couldn't because her lungs weren't expanded um, so there's no way for her to breathe so today so every week twice a week i'm having to do these um non-stress tests where they monitor her heartbeat they monitor contraction of the uterus um, and her movements and if her heartbeat increases with each movement like it's supposed to she's in passing all of them so that is really great we're aware that god forbid on a day we go and she's not passing the stress test a cesarean could be you know something that they tell me we got to go do this now you know because of whatever complication but for right now we're just grateful that she's passing all of the non-stress tests and that she's been doing great and she's been moving great and she kind of moves a lot now and i remember before i was waiting i wanted to feel her move so bad but i was waiting and waiting for her to move and she took longer than um my firstborn did to start for me to start feeling her move but she's also small in size 
so like she should be around four pounds and she's only two pounds uh seven ounces so she is smallish i think that's why also it took me a while to like be able to feel her moving but um now she's moving yeah, a she's, lot and she's strongly small because of what they said she has yeah they because they diagnosed her with cornelia delaying which we've talked about and if she has cornelia delaying then that would the basically that would justify the reason why she's so small because children with cornelia delaying um are known to be smaller in size so yeah so right now now that we're done with that for it feels so nice and refreshing to have an appointment it's just one appointment and then go it's like on monday we have like three appointments back to back you text me while we're waiting you text me that um contractions or that yeah it could be one second my arm is killing me we have reached our destination this is what i was about to tell you um we are at lake Eola park in orlando and this park is pretty huge funny story this is actually the playground right here, which is kind of like where we wanted to be. So we kind of ended up in the right place on accident. Because there's like a million ways to go in to the park. But, um, and you can see there's the parking is, is a challenge. But, um, wow, well, look, one bedroom, one bath. It's probably going to be like a thousand and six. I know, right? Just because you're in front of the park. Wow. wow. Heal the park. This is going to be Victoria's first time at this park, but not ours. And the funny story, oh, yes, swans. That's hey, why I, I wanted to come here because Victoria loves yeah. ducks, and she's not going to know the difference between ducks and swans. When I get excited, I talk a little bit fast, but um, I'm Can really excited right the now. There? There's uh, no sign, right? There is a sign, but I don't know what it says. No, you can't. It says no parking. From 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Wait, the wait. It says, oh, a two-hour parking from. Oh, don't don't park here just in case. It says like no parking from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. And then it says two-hour parking from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. But I don't know where, so I'm a little bit scared. There's a bunch of them here. Okay. Wow. So, anyways, there's swans. Victoria won't know the difference between swans and ducks, but she'll be excited. So that makes me excited. Uh, but anyways, what he was talking about was that I was texting him because. The contraction monitor, which is the one on top that you could see. Yeah, but it's closed, so how would we get in there? Welcome to Orlando. It's the road is closed. Um, usually my contraction monitor will read at like 21, 22, 20 is like the baseline, meaning I have no contractions. And it's normal that the uterus will contract a little bit here and there. There's a baby, there's a baby in there and just contracting. But um, but today it was like 24 or 25, even got up to 27, and then it'll go back down. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, am I having contractions? And I, I really don't feel them. It just feels, I just feel her moving so low in my belly and kind of like making a pressure there. Um, but basically between that and her hitting the monitor, that's what was causing it. So it was a false alarm nothing was happening it was just that so right now we're just trying to find parking and go to the park we're still trying to figure out how to get there and like how to park close enough because i can't i'm not allowed to walk that much either so he's letting me decide where to go which is not usual but I'm going based off of this, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But basically, we just went down a road from where we originally went down to. And now we're gonna see if we'll be able to park close. That's the road that we were. This is the road that we were, but can you make a left into the another section? Mm -hmm. Is what I'm wondering. What do you wanna do? Am I go straight or go right? You're gonna go straight, all right, you see. I don't know how they want us to come here and do the park. Well, that's a weird statue. It's like giant legs and then like a tiny butt. Parking garage. Post. Post properties. I don't know what that means. That's what you're going to park? I don't, I guess, I don't know. Look at that tree. That tree statue. Well, that way. I don't think so. It only says two wheels. And 
put some weed in there. Oh, how cool. Mm. Restaurant, retail, and apartment parking. We can't park here either. It's meters. Back to the drawing board. Towing strictly enforced. We don't pay, they tow your vehicle. From what I've seen in Florida, if there's a sign like that, obey it. Because they will tow it. finally made it we were here going in circles looking for parking so we finally find parking and uh we'll see how the day goes mommy slow down Wow, look at this. Hey, let me go first. To get her reaction. about this. Look at their feet. They're so Say big. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Look at that black one, how pretty it is. He shines. Okay, all right, all right. He doesn't look happy, baby. Take a step back. Bye bye. Say I don't have food. Say bye bye. We're gonna go to the park. Bye. Careful with the caca. Careful with the baby. I don't care about the caca. <laughs> oh, it's a pigeon. <laughs> Apparently, based off of Tim Tracker and his wife, this pizza place um, tastes taste really close to, I guess, New York style pizza, right? That's what they said. Which, if you want to see content about Disney and tourists, theme parks, you know, different places in Orlando and in Florida, you know, we follow Tim Tracker on YouTube. Yeah. 
He's and a really big how, YouTuber. And that's how we uh, we find out about the spoilers. Yep. So you can go ahead and follow him. That's where we're going. John and John to pizza shop. We are here. We are here. All right, so we're here at John John Pizza Place, the place that they say that is the only one that tastes like New York pizza. So we're gonna test it out and see. I'm not New Yorkian. I mean, I'm not from New York, but my wife is, so we'll see. Alright, John, John, you can travel far and wide to get here. Trusting the promise, you're where my hope is found. Enter. I'm breathing, I'm letting go, ready for you to move. The light is open, your life is breaking through. The smell is already a good sign. This one had more of the flavor that a New York pizza um, usually has. I would say there's just something about it missing, but I mean, it was it was really good. I would give it an eight out of ten. Um, the thin, the crust was thin, but not too thin. It had that crunch when I folded it in half. It was if you don't have that like pizza oil on the top of it, is it even New York pizza? Like it had the oil on top of it. Um, it was super cheesy. It was like crunchy, but not like burnt, but not like squishy. I can't explain. But it was super cheesy. It was really good. And then we also tried the cheesy bread, and that was really good too. I liked how it had a hint of garlic, just enough to where you can taste it, but not too much. Because we went somewhere and they literally put garlic pieces of like, it looked like pieces of sauteed garlic on top. And that was pretty gross, just having to eat through that actual garlic, I don't know. But this one was really good, it was super cheesy. Um, so yeah, I didn't try the pizza with the chicken and bacon that we got on that side of it. I didn't try, I didn't try the cheese side. And the funny thing is that, every time we order pizza, wherever we go, or at home, if it's Pizza Hut, Dumbo Pizza, Papa John, she always liked the chicken and bacon. We always I just didn't feel like eating it today. And we got, I got that because of her. She didn't eat it. I didn't feel like, I thought I was going to eat some of it, but I didn't feel like you eating mean. it. I just felt like eating the cheese. But when I go to New York, I usually get a cheese pizza. I don't get a different topping. So I think that's why I just wanted to, I was able to compare it better that way. Um, and just pregnancy, like, I just wasn't feeling it. I just wanted the cheese side. So, Victoria liked it. Um, she has some pizza and she has some fries. And let me tell you, for a pizza place, the fries were really, really good. Um, I would give them an eight also. And, and yeah. The service, the customer service, I wish I knew that young lady's name. Um, the customer service was really great. She was really bubbly and cheery personality. You know, willing to actually, like, oh, she offered her help, anything we needed, but you could tell she was willing for us to. Oh 
I don't know what just happened. I think we saw, we might have saw, we might have seen Rodney Copperbottom, but we don't think it's him. It doesn't look like him in the close up. It was just funny. We thought it was Rodney Copperbottom. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So was really good. overall, the, the pizza was good. The, the restaurant was good. The service, the service was good. So we yeah. gave it an 8. Yeah, 8 out of 10. We didn't have food credits. We just like to eat. <laughs> yo, yo, so we, somebody, somebody had a craving. So on the way home, she wanted Coastone. So we here at Coastone getting ice cream. We just finished at Cold Stone. I think it was her first time at Cold Stone. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And her first own little ice cream, vanilla, Cold Stone. She, she liked it, yeah, she liked it. So. As was, soon as we walked in the door, she was like, ice, ice cream. cream. And she started seeing it, and then once we got it, and he sent her down everything, she's like, please, please. Because every time she wants something that you have, she'll be like, please, this is what she goes, for. It's so cute. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, now we're done with that. We have to go get milk for me and the baby and then we'll be going home. And that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!